Listen, if you don't have these attachments, the TAC-50 can feel slow. It can be aggravating to use, and it could take you a long time to level it up. I've got a trick, one, that I gotta tell you about. Two, I got some attachments for you, all right? Are you ready? Are you ready? World record holder, baby, the most snipes in X Defiant in one game. I'm just saying, video in top right corner. Let's get it, baby. For people that are starting out with Attack 50 that do not have really any attachments unlocked, let me go ahead and show you my starter build for this weapon. What you do want, what you don't want, okay? This is important because not every attachment you unlock needs to be on your weapon. And I know it's hard to hear, but I promise you, it doesn't need to be there. So, the first things first, the muzzle. I would recommend either no suppressor or muzzle at all, or the light suppressor. That This is for people who don't have really any attachments for their TAC-50. Barrel, do not use the recon barrel. I tried the recon barrel. I could not get it to aim down sight any faster with the recon barrel. I don't know if it's bugged or if it's just me, but I did not like the recon barrel, so I actually ended up taking it off and not using it at all. Now, obviously we have the optic that always will be on there. We have the quick mag for the magazine. It does not hurt you to put that quick mag on there. For the rear grip, you're going to want the heavy grip. And let me show you the stat that you're really going to want to pay attention to whenever you're looking at, you know, attachments for your weapons. So, ADS flinch control is a big plus whenever you're quick scoping because you're always going to be getting shot at because it's probably going to be up close up close quarters or even long quarters you're going to be getting shot at you're not going to want your sniper flinching all over the place and you're trying to hit it right so that ads flinch control really really helps that along with the padded stock that you get you know you get ads stability and the flinch control as well so both of those paired up are absolutely amazing. But let me go ahead and show you guys if you have all of the attachments unlocked, which is level 29, by the way, what you should be running with your TAC-50. So with the TAC-50, I like to use the muzzle booster. I like to use, obviously, the lightweight barrel. My magazine, I prefer the extended mag because I, I like to hit a bunch of clips just back to back to back to back and to get high kill gameplays. This is what you have to have, so then that way you can, uh, you know, not have to reload so fast whenever you're in battle. Then, what you're going to want to use, uh, let me see here. Mm. Then what you're going to want to use is the quick draw. This is my setup. Now, if I come across and I'm, I'm getting into a lot of combat area or if I'm in a really small map, sometimes I'll actually trade out uh, the muzzle booster here, and I'll go ahead and put on the padded stock. Sometimes I will run this class over the muzzle booster. Uh, just depends on where I'm at and, you know, what the situation is and how I've been feeling. So sometimes I'll go back and forth between the muzzle booster and then the uh, padded stock. Because the padded stock actually gives you, ten, I mean, 5% ADS flinch control, which is really nice. And the 10% ADS stability is nice as well. Let me unplug my controller. So what you're going to want to do is when you run forward... If you see an enemy, pull back and, and aim down sight. You'll see how much quicker it is to aim down sight if you pull backwards. Now, what this does inside the game is it makes it seem like you have stopped or stayed still. And it will aim down the sight at about the same speed as you regular aim down sight if you're standing still. Now, like I said, if you're running, it's going to aim down sight a lot slower than if you were to just be standing still. So that happy medium of just pulling back on the run stick, the left stick, will actually make you aim down sight a little bit quicker and give you that edge, definitely over someone who is sniping. So other than that, I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a big fat like on this thing. And if you do want to see more content like this, then obviously hit that subscribe button. We're live all the time, so come check us out. We're over on Twitch or on YouTube, all right? I'll see you guys out there. Peace.